Did you know the sugar you use every day starts as a tall plant in a field? But how does it turn into the tiny white crystals in your kitchen? In this video, we will go inside a big sugar factory to see how it's made, from cutting the sugar cane to turning it into sweet crystals. Stay until the end, because you'll learn a surprising fact about how sugar gets its perfect white color. Step 1. Harvesting the raw material. Sugar comes from two main plants, sugar cane and sugar beets. Sugarcane grows in warm places and looks like tall grass with thick stalks, while sugar beets grow underground like carrots. When the plants are ready, farmers use big machines to cut them down quickly. For sugarcane, the machines chop the stalks into smaller pieces and remove the leaves. For sugar beets, the machines pull them from the ground and clean off the dirt. Once harvested, the sugarcane and sugar beets must be taken to the factory as soon as possible because they start to dry out quickly. Huge trucks load them up and transport them to the factory where the process of turning them into sugar begins. Step 2. Extraction of Sugar Juice When the sugarcane and sugar beets arrive at the factory, the first step is to get the sweet juice out of them. For sugarcane, machines crush the stalks between heavy rollers, squeezing out the juice. This is similar to pressing a sponge to get water out. The leftover dry pieces of sugarcane, called bagasse, are not wasted. They are often burned to produce energy for the factory. For sugar beets, the process is a bit different. The beets are sliced into thin strips and soaked in hot water. This helps dissolve the sugar inside the beets, turning the water into a sweet juice. After this step, the juice from both sugarcane and sugar beets moves to the next stage. Step 3 purification and filtration. The sugar juice from the sugar cane and sugar beets is not yet clean. It still has dirt, plant fibers, and other unwanted things. To clean it, the juice is first heated and mixed with lime, a special type of powder. This helps remove impurities and makes the juice clearer. Next, the juice passes through special filters that trap any remaining dirt and solid particles. After filtering, the juice looks much cleaner, but it is still a liquid. At this stage, the juice has a light brown color because it still contains molasses, a dark, sticky syrup. Step 4. Evaporation and Crystallization Now that the sugar juice is clean, the next step is to remove most of the water and turn it into sugar crystals. The juice is heated in large boiling tanks, where the water slowly turns into steam and evaporates. As the water leaves, the juice becomes thicker and more concentrated. When it reaches the right thickness, tiny sugar crystals start to form. To help this process, the factory adds small seed crystals, which act like starter points for more sugar to grow. The liquid is then carefully cooled and stirred, making the sugar crystals grow bigger. At this stage, the mixture looks like a thick syrup filled with sugar grains. This is called massaquite. Step 5. Drying and Refining Now that the sugar crystals have formed, they need to be separated from the thick syrup and dried. First, the mixture is put into a spinning machine called a centrifuge. This machine spins very fast, just like a washing machine on a spin cycle, forcing the syrup, molasses, to drain away and leaving behind damp sugar crystals. These wet crystals are then dried using warm air until they become completely dry. At this stage, the sugar is still light brown because some molasses is left on it. Some sugar is sold like this as raw sugar, but to make it pure white, it goes through an extra refining process. The raw sugar is dissolved in hot water and filtered to remove the remaining molasses and impurities. Some factories use special carbon filters, sometimes made from animal bones, to make the sugar even whiter. Step 6. Packaging and Distribution Now the sugar is ready to use, it needs to be packed and sent to stores. First, the sugar is stored in huge silos, large storage tanks, to keep it fresh. From there, Machines move the sugar onto fast conveyor belts that fill different types of packages. Some sugar is packed into small bags for home use, while other sugar goes into big sacks for bakeries and factories that make sweets, bread, and other foods. The packaging machines weigh, seal, and label each bag automatically to make sure every package contains the right amount of sugar. After packing, the bags are stacked onto pallets and loaded onto trucks. These trucks then deliver the sugar to supermarkets, restaurants, and food companies all over the world. This is how sugar is made in factories. Do you prefer raw sugar or white sugar? Let me know in the comments. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more amazing factory process videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.